Hi, this is Julie with Beadaholic, and today I want to show you how to use Nun Design bead cores and make a bead. Now, Nun Design has been very clever, and they have made these wonderful large hole bead cores, which you can then use either custom collage sheets, which are perfectly sized for the bead core themselves, making work very easy. You could also take these and put your own image on them, or actually use a two-part epoxy clay as well. So there's a lot of different variations on how you can make your own customizable beads. But in this particular video, I wanna show you how to apply the collage sheet images to the bead core, and then I'm actually gonna show you how to take that bead core and make it into a really quick and easy earring. So what you're gonna need for the basic just applying of the images to the bead core, you're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut out your images. You're going to need some Nun Design glue to adhere the collage sheet to the bead, some Nun sealant to seal the bead, and a paintbrush to apply the sealant and the glue onto the bead itself, and then subsequently the collage sheets as well. So like I said, these are perfectly sized. I've got one size right here. I've got this great little tiny one right here. And they even have this wonderful pendant, which actually the collage sheets are sized to as well. So those are your different options. I'm gonna use this medium size one, and I'm gonna pick one of the medium size collage sheet images. When you get these collage sheets, there's actually step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply them. I'm not gonna need those because I'm gonna be telling you what to do in this video, but you will have those for reference if you buy the collage sheet. So first off, I'm gonna pick an image I like. Now keep in mind which orientation your bead is gonna be in your jewelry piece. Are you gonna have it like this? Are you gonna have it like that? Consider that when you pick the image you want. And I know mine is gonna be up and down, so I want an image that will work well with that. And I'm gonna take this little one right here. So just to get it out of the sheet, I rough cut it. Now I'm just gonna cut it along the edge. Before I put any glue down, I'm gonna make sure it fits. And it does, it fits perfect. So you have two options. You can apply glue directly to the bead itself and then go ahead and put your collage image on top of it, or you can apply glue to the collage image. I like applying it to the collage image, and if you've seen my other videos, you know that I just like to use my fingers. I think I picked this up when I was a child and I never stopped doing it this way, but a toothpick or a paintbrush or a wire, scrap piece of wire would work as well. I'm gonna make sure I coat every edge of the collage sheet. I'm just gonna lay it in there. Roll it around. Okay, there's gonna be a little bit of overlapping. That's perfectly fine. Make sure you have plenty of glue where it overlaps. Smooth it out. I'm just gonna take my fingernail, and make sure that is pressed into place. The Nun glue will dry clear, so don't worry if a little spills out. You might actually like that because it's gonna let you know that there's plenty of glue right there. I'm just gonna roll it gently. And there we've applied our image to the bead core, and I'm gonna let that dry for about 15 minutes before I go back and I seal it with a layer of Nun sealant. Now that our glue is dry, we're just gonna paint a top coat of the Nun Design sealant on it. Go ahead and grab your bead by the two ends. That way you're not gonna to touch it. A Little bit of sealant onto your brush. Make sure you line it up with the edge. You wanna make sure you coat fully the edge and just paint over the claw sheet. Rotate it without touching what you just went ahead and glued, keep rotating. Once you've painted the entire surface, set it down in an upright position and let it dry for another 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how to take this piece and turn it into an earring. Now that my bead core is dry, I can work with it again. And I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple pair of earrings using one of these little bead cores. 
So I've got a two inch ball head pin. I've got some little Swarovski four millimeter bicones. And I've got some little six millimeter Swarovski round beads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my head pin, put one bicone on it, one round, put my bead core. Now I wanna make sure that I have the bead core facing the direction I want, because you can tell that butterfly is in an upright position. So I'm gonna make sure he stays that way. And I'm gonna just add another little round and another bicone. Now you can tell that they're a little loose in there right now. To solve that, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that that round sits down within the well of the bead core. And I'm going to take my wire looping pliers. So I'm holding this tight so all the beads are snug. Put my wire looping pliers right up against the edge of that bicone. There we go. And I'm just gonna make a wrapped wire loop. There we go. And then take my flush cutters, trim off that wire tail. Then take my pliers. I'm just going to finish this off by pressing that tail into the wrapping. There we go. I'm gonna twist my bead just so that that butterfly is front and center. Make sure everything is in alignment. And now all I have to do is add my earring hook. I'm gonna open the loop at the base of the earring hook just the same way you would open a jump ring. I'm going to attach it to my wrapped wire loop and just close it back up. To make your other matching earring, you can either purchase another claw sheet or just use one of the other images that has similar colors in it. So you can see that took no time at all. I have a very pretty and very easy earring which I made using the Nun Design bead cores and the claw sheets to match.